students from Northern Kentucky and Mount St. Joseph universities are in the midst of a mystery. Why would a woman who'd been left a valuable piece of property in Virginia up and leave to New Richmond, Ohio? I spoke to the team to find out how they're piecing together the story of Mary Lumpkin. Mary Lumpkin is um, like a great American hero that nobody's ever heard of. There's no pictures of Mary Lumpkin, but her legacy looms large. Greg Roberts with the historic New Richmond Society remembers when he first heard her name. And a big tour bus pulled right here in front of the cemetery and he pronounces this is Sumerian Cemetery. This is where Mary Lumpkin is buried. I didn't have a clue who Mary Lumpkin was, but everyone on that bus stood up and looked and said, where, where? Now, NKU Public History master's student Alicia Burnett is working on research that could breathe new life into Lumpkin's last years. But that takes learning about her difficult past, being a 13-year-old mistress to notorious slave trader Robert Lumpkin in Richmond, Virginia. It makes me emotional because I couldn't imagine myself in that position or having to be forced to go through those things. When Robert died in 1866, he left Mary his slave jail, where he imprisoned thousands during the time of the domestic slave trade. At the end of the Civil War, she converted it into a school for freed slaves. And for some reason, she's buried in New Richmond. That's where some major history buffs and master's students from NKU and Mount St. Joseph come in. Their theory? Lumpkin, the mother of five mixed race kids, sought an education for them. And a school where they'd be accepted was in New Richmond, Ohio, a hotbed for abolitionists. Parker Academy was the first school we believe in America that was open to all races and all genders. And it opened in 1839. They found enslavement immoral and they didn't believe that it was at all trying to achieve that more perfect union. So what's really fascinating is, is that you have somebody like Mary Lumpkin who experiences enslavement, um, who tries to make her life for her children better, sends them to the Parker Academy. Lumpkin lived out the rest of her life in New Richmond. And as these public history students tried to weave together those last years, Robert says he's trying to answer the question those people had on the bus. We still don't know where she's buried. So many of the graves in Sumerian Cemetery are unmarked. So Dr. Hackett says he plans to use a ground penetrating radar system to figure out exactly where Mary is buried. Hackett doesn't have an exact timeline, but with permission from the city, he's hoping to get started sometime this fall. That is fascinating. And where was this class when I was in school? I don't they know. are doing such cool work. We